Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about what it means to be financially free and of course how to get there. I hear a lot of people talk about financial freedom and a lot of people saying that their goal is to be financially free, but not a lot of people are, are really 100% clear on what that actually means. And so I've done some thinking about this and it, to me, financial freedom comes in stages. There are a lot of possible definitions of being financially free and there are levels of financial freedom. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through what those levels are and I'm gonna use my own story to illustrate. So if you followed me for a while, you might have noticed that my career has kind of gone all over the place. And so I'm gonna explain how that career progression worked. I'm gonna explain how I have risen through those levels of becoming financially free and I'm gonna give you some insight as to how you can do the same thing. So I graduated from college in 2010. I had a bachelor's degree in economics. I had been led to believe that having a college degree meant that I was going to get a good job and I was going to do well in life, etc, 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 that all the companies would want to hire me because of my college degree. You remember that game of life where you always go to college at the beginning because you're, you're basically screwed if you don't? Well, that was basically my understanding of how life worked and so I went to college without really questioning it and when I graduated uh, it didn't work that way at all. It didn't work the way I had been told. In fact, I couldn't find a full-time job for an entire year. I was working little part-time jobs that didn't pay enough for me to live off of. My main job during that time was as a waiter's assistant. That's right, here I was with my fancy new college degree that I'd spent four years of my life in order to get, and I couldn't even get hired as a waiter. I was a waiter's assistant. Anyway, so after a year of being miserable and depressed and not being able to find a job, I decided in my brilliance that since college had failed me before, then maybe I should go back to college and get more education. And so uh, I went for a master's in business degree and put myself into a lot of student debt in order to get this degree, but at least I had something to do, so that kept me motivated. And then along the way, now that I was actually focused on finding a job, whereas before, when I went to college for the bachelor's degree, I wasn't really even thinking about the job. I was just thinking about getting finished with school. But now I was thinking about the job because I had had that experience of being uh, unemployable, essentially, and so, in addition to the college, I started teaching myself skills on the side. I learned some skills in Excel and in SQL, which is a programming language for, for pulling data from a database. And after I graduated from that program, I managed to get hired pretty fast, not because of the degree, not because of anything that I learned in the college program, but because of the skills that I had taught myself on the side. And so that was an interesting epiphany for me that I had gone through six years of college and it was pretty much worthless, whereas the uh, few hours that I had put into learning skills that were actually worthwhile on the side were what got me hired. And so after I graduated the second time, I finally got my first real full-time job. It was kind of a boring corporate desk job, but at that point in my life was the first point in my life that I was ever actually self-sufficient, that I ever could uh, move out and get an apartment and actually be able to pay my bills. So uh, this is the first stage of financial freedom is being self-sufficient. Being able to pay your own bills because before that point, I was living with my parents. Uh, you know, I couldn't even afford to pay rent even if I had a roommate. Um, my, my parents were paying my rent for me. Uh, they were paying for most of my food. I was working part-time. I was paying for a little bit, but for the most part, I was completely dependent on somebody else. And so once I got that job, I got to the point where I could actually pay my own bills and be self-sufficient. Now, while I was on that job, uh, I didn't rest on my laurels, so, so to speak. I didn't just kind of make myself uh, satisfied with the job that I had. Even though I was getting by, I was, I was relatively comfortable. I was making uh, $38,000 a year at the time. 
which, you know, isn't anything to brag about, but it was enough to pay my bills. But while I was working that job, I was also in improving my skill set. Not because the job required it, but just because I wanted to increase my knowledge because I had a, a vague intuition that that was going to be valuable in the future. I didn't know how or why, but I had that intuition and I kind of enjoyed challenging myself. I wasn't one to just kind of do minimum, and it was a really easy job by the way, so I could have gotten by without really ever learning anything, but I kept building my skill sets and so less than a year later, um, I got a new job as a data analyst which was a job that I didn't even know existed at the time, but the skills that I had been teaching myself unknowingly were skills that were very valuable for a data analyst position. And as it turned out, a data analyst is a much higher paid position than the position that I was doing before. And so I, I nearly doubled my salary in less than a year by getting hired as a data analyst. So now that I had this job that paid almost double the salary, well now I could not only pay my bills and be self-sufficient, but now I could actually start paying a little extra toward my debt. Now I could actually start saving. Now I could afford little luxuries here and there. And so after a few years of working as a data analyst and my, my pay increased a little bit along the way, I was able to fully pay off my debt. And so I reached a new stage of financial freedom, which is being debt free. Now I want to say a couple words about this because a lot of very rich and very successful people that are very smart about money like having debt. They like going into debt. But the truth is that not all debt is created equal. And so in my situation before that, I was in a situation where I had to work in order to make money to pay off my debt. I had to pay a certain amount of, of money uh, to service my debt every month. And I didn't have that money in a bank account where I could just pay it from the money that I had already saved, right? I had to work in order to service the debt. So uh, the, there's a difference between having debt that you're in control of and having debt that controls you. And so the debt that I had was definitely debt that controlled me. And so when I got to this point of paying off my debt, that was a new level of financial freedom. Now. If I was to go and uh, take on some debt that I could pay off at any moment, then that would be different, right? If I was to take on a, a loan at, let's say, 5% interest and then reinvest that in something else at 10% interest, then that's a completely different story, right? I'm not working in order to pay off that debt. That debt is the, the investment that I made with that debt is actually paying itself off. So um, be, when I say being debt free, I mean being free of debt that is controlling you. Okay, so after I was debt free, I kept working as a data analyst for a while, but I started to think that I didn't wanna have a job anymore that I wanted to be a self-employed entrepreneur, I wanted to be able to make money on my own terms and not rely on one company to pay me a paycheck every two weeks. And so I saved up a little bit of money. I started a business doing freelance Excel work for people. So it was kind of the same work that I was doing as a data analyst, but doing as a freelance business, getting clients directly. And so after a while, I decided that I was going to quit my data analyst job. I was gonna quit working for an employer and work as a freelancer instead. And so I did, I saved up about $10,000 that I could, that would keep me going for a little while. I quit my job and I went full time as a freelancer. And so that marks the next stage of financial freedom, which is that you are not dependent on a job, right? You don't rely on one particular company to pay your bills. Now you are, your own boss, you are providing the money for yourself. And so I did that for a little while, but it really wasn't bringing in enough money. I wasn't, I was getting to the point where I was losing number one. I was losing my self-sufficiency because the money that it took me to pay my bills was more than I was bringing in from the Excel business. And so 
I got, really at the perfect time, I got an offer from an employer for a remote job, to be a data analyst again, but to be fully remote. And I thought, okay, well that's pretty cool. You know, I wouldn't really want to have to go back into an office again after I'd tasted that freedom. So if I have to take a job, taking a remote job sounds like a, a pretty decent opportunity. And so I started working for this remote job, which brings me to another stage of um, financial freedom, which is location independent. That at that point, uh, I no longer was tied to any location. I, I could go wherever I want. In fact, I traveled a lot because I was making a pretty good amount of money at that job. I was fully location independent, and so I traveled like crazy. And, and so I did that job for a while, and uh, the whole time I had in mind that even though I was working remote and I was location independent, I still wanted to go back to number three where I was not dependent on a job. And so I had that in mind. I was kind of saving up a little bit of money. I was coming up with ideas for how I could uh, start my own business that would make me self-sufficient, which is what I had kind of failed to do with the Excel business before. And so I really didn't have any great ideas, but I, I knew that I was dedicating way too much of my time and my energy to having this job. And I thought, okay, well, if I can just focus full time on creating a business, even if I don't know what that business is yet, then my chances of success are a lot higher and I'll figure it out eventually. And so I set myself a specific target. I said in October, this was in 2018, in October, I am going to quit and I'm going to focus entirely on starting my own business. And coincidentally, in October of 2018, before I could quit, I got fired. <laughs> well, they, they said I got laid off, but realistically, I, I got fired because I was doing a crappy job because I was completely unmotivated. I was completely uninterested in the job. I was planning my exit and, and they noticed, right? My quality of work went down. And so um, I got laid off from the job, which was actually ended up being uh, much better because it meant that I got some severance, which kept me going for a little while as an entrepreneur. And so as soon as I got laid off, I started looking into marketing. I thought marketing sounds great because there's so much money in it. And I uh, found myself a mentor who I, well, I paid a, a huge amount of money in order to teach me how to make money in marketing. And that actually turned out to be a lot more difficult than I was expecting. And I struggled for quite a while. I struggled for almost two years before I was actually making money doing it. And, but I was all in. So I was determined that this was gonna work, even though I was taking on more and more debt. And this time it was mostly credit card debt, which is pretty high interest. And it was kind of scary. Um, I was really cutting my living expenses as much as I possibly could. And basically living on credit card debt, both for my personal expenses and for the business expenses. I was spending all this money on running ads, most of which didn't work for a long time because I wasn't that good at it yet. There's a big learning curve. And the problem with paying for ads when there's a learning curve is that it gets really expensive really fast. And so I was putting all this in credit cards, going deep into debt, but I had made the decision that I was all in, right? It was sink or swim. I was gonna succeed or I was gonna go bankrupt and there was no middle ground. And so the first success that I had actually was that I went back to my old Excel business, right? The, the Excel business that had failed to keep me afloat before, I went back to because now I knew something about marketing. In fact, I started running digital advertising to my Excel business and that way I managed to find a way to get myself projects. Whereas before I got projects occasionally and inconsistently and I really couldn't rely on it. Well, with the advertising, now I had a systematic way of getting clients and getting projects and so that kept me afloat for a while. And so I was back to this uh, stage three being not dependent on a job. However, I wanted more than that. What I really wanted uh, was to separate my, my time from my work. So when I was doing the Excel business, I was charging 
um, 80, 90, and then $100 per hour, I raised my price progressively, which was pretty decent money if you want to trade time for money, but I really wanted to be able to make money without having to put in more hours. And so the, the thing that I finally landed on was actually instead of doing the Excel business myself, I decided that I would teach other people to do the Excel business. So I found a bunch of people who had Excel skills and I taught them exactly the business model that I had created for myself and I taught them how exactly to do the advertising method that I had found that brought in customers. And it was at that point that I learned a, a really valuable principle that I've kept with me ever since, which is that teaching somebody to do something is almost always more profitable than actually doing the thing. Right, it's like that old expression, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Well, it turns out that teaching people to fish is a lot more valuable than giving them fish. And so if you teach people to be fishermen, you can charge a lot more and you can get paid a lot more than by merely fishing yourself and selling the fish. So anyway, when I started doing that, when I started teaching other people how to, how to replicate my Excel business, the very first month that I did that, I made $30,000, which absolutely blew my head off. I had never made that kind of money in a month before, not even close. And so that marked the next stage of financial freedom, which is to separate money from time to be able to make more money without putting in a proportional more amount of time, right? So I wasn't getting paid by the hour anymore. I was getting paid per coaching program, per client that I got, uh, and I would not really have to put much, if any, more time in per additional client. I had created something that was productized, um, and since it was a digital product, then I could distribute it without really having to put in more time or more effort after I had created it to begin with. And so I've continued with this same model and I've basically, I've, I've come up with courses to teach people how to go through the steps that I have gone through in my own career because most people are still stuck on like step one, uh, just being self-sufficient, but being dependent on a job. Most of the time being dependent on a location. Oftentimes uh, they're in debt because they're not making enough money where they can pay off their debt faster than just paying the minimum payments. And so I've managed to go through all of these steps. And so what I've done is I've created courses and coaching programs and I'm teaching people how to follow the same progression towards financial freedom that I've managed myself. And so I have another training program showing people how to get a job as a data analyst, right? Which is what got me to be debt free. Eventually it got me to be location independent as well because it's a very remoteable job. And now just recently, uh, well actually I haven't even started this yet, but I'm, I'm working on a program to show people how to teach their knowledge to others in order to get to step five here, where, where you've got all of this uh, at once, you've separated your money from your time when you're able to scale and you're able to make a lot of money without putting in a ton of work. And I think that a lot of people can do the same thing that I'm doing because a lot of people have, have learned things, have figured out things that are valuable to other people who have not gotten to that stage in life yet. So no matter where you are, if you think about what do you know now that you wish you knew five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago that would have made your life a lot easier? Well, if you know some things that would have made your life easier, then chances are there are some people now who are in the same situation as you were in the past, and you could teach those people, make their lives a heck of a lot better, and get paid handsomely in return. And the truth is that most of us, myself especially, we stumble through this, right? I'm telling you my story. I didn't, I didn't do hardly any of this intentionally. I didn't have any guidance through any of this. I stumbled through this accidentally, through trial and error. It, it took a long time. It took a lot of pain. Uh, it took a lot of, of difficult and uncertain times because through the vast majority of it, I didn't have any sort of guidance whatsoever. And so I know that me having been through it, I've figured it out 
that somebody else who is in the position that I used to be in, I could get them results a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier, less expensive and with less heartache than it took me. Right, and so probably you're in the same position. You could help somebody enormously with the experience that you've already gained up to this point in your life. Anyway, so this is as far as I've gotten. Now, there is a, a step six, right? There is a sixth stage of financial independence, which I have not yet reached yet, but that is that you no longer have to work, right? You, uh, you don't even have to earn money anymore. You can just live off of your savings. You can invest your savings in an index fund or something and live off of residual income and you never have to work another day in your life. Now, this is something that I haven't gotten to yet. I'm expecting that I will get here within a few years uh, where, where I have that freedom where I don't have to work if, if I don't want to. I don't have to sell anything if I don't want to. Now, I, I don't think I will ever stop working because I really love my work, especially now that my work involves helping other people to elevate their lives. It's extremely satisfying for me. So I, and you know, I'd be pretty bored if I wasn't doing anything, right? So I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I'm not working, but it, there is a certain feeling of relief where you realize that you've got it made, that you don't, you're not, you're not forced to work. You're not forced to get sales. You're, you're, you could shut down your business today and everything would be just fine. So this is what I consider the, the final and ultimate step of financial freedom. And so that's something that I'm working towards myself. And by the way, if you're interested, uh, I have a program on how to create a freelance Excel business that, that pays you $100 an hour. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. Actually, it's a free training where you can kind of learn how it works, uh, get an idea of how to get started. And then if you would like further coaching, then that's something that's available. Uh, it'll tell you how to do that at the end of the free training. I also have a course on how to become a data analyst. So if you're working a, a crappy job that's not really satisfying for you and you want a good job that's in high demand, that pays well, that oftentimes lets you work remote, uh, I have a free training on how to do that as well. I'll put that in the description. And then you don't have to, by the way, you don't have to follow the same progression that I did, right? You can skip levels. Um, really, there's no reason for you to have to go through every little step one by one. You could really go directly almost to the bottom, uh, probably not to step six, but you could, you really could go directly from step one to step five and skip everything in between. And so if you're interested in doing that, the, the way that I figured out how to do that is by doing coaching. And so I have a program where I will show you exactly the system that I created to make a five figure a month income doing coaching. That, and that's a great business because one, you're helping people directly, so it's very satisfying, it's very fulfilling. Two, it's completely location independent because you're working off of a computer, you're doing all your coaching online. And three, once you get the system set up, it really doesn't take a lot to run. Like you can run this business in five hours a week and then have the other other time of the week to do whatever you want. And so, you know, if you're like me and you're, you, you enjoy working, then probably you're going to put a lot of that into improving the program, improving the marketing, maybe coming up with other programs, etc. But you have that freedom where really it's only a few hours a week that are tied up and yet you're making a, a solid six figure income every year. So if that's something that you're really serious about that you'd really love to be able to do, then I am actually taking a few people and walking them the whole way through the process. And so even if you don't know what you could teach, that's something I'll help you with as well, because a lot of people uh, haven't really figured that out and, and really just need some guidance. Uh, you probably have some experience that you could teach and you could charge for and you could make this work. So if that's something that you're really serious about, you really like to do, then I would like to help you. I will just do every step with you. I will help you build every step of the process. It's something that's not going to be cheap and it is going to take some time and it is going to take some effort, but I guarantee you that the result is more than worth it. So if that's something that is of interest to you, I will put a link in the description for that as well. Uh, I'll just ask you a few questions about where you are and where you'd like to be, and then you'll schedule a time to talk to me 
and we'll figure out a game plan. I want to figure out if I can be confident that I can get you results, and I want to figure out if it matches with your goals and what you're looking to do in life. So if that's something that is of interest to you and you're really willing to go all in on it, then click the link below, answer a few questions, and we'll talk soon.